Jake Brown, Nelson Figueroa, Amazing But True Podcast with Donovan Mitchell in the building. The only man with more ice than me in City Field right no, now. No, no, You don't even want to compare chains. Don't even start. Uh, don't even start. Don, Donovan, I came with the better shirt, but you got the cool jersey. What's your feel about the Subway Series? You're a diehard Met fan. Lost a little luster this year. Obviously not the same team, but what do you think about the Subway Series? Um, I mean, I went to the, the World Series when I was like four years old. I don't remember it, but, you know, from my dad taking me there to seeing that, I grew up hating the Yankees. Um, so, you know, I hope we kick their bus tonight and um, kind of turn this thing back around. You know, we just struggling a little bit. So the hatred is still there. You're still sure. blue sure. and orange all the way, huh? For sure. I got some friends on the team, though, which Aaron Judge, my guy, he's not playing tonight. Who's but that? Staying, exactly. But, uh, you know, <laughs> never heard of they him. know the deal, though. When it, when it comes down to it, they know what it is. So. Four years old. What made you choose besides your dad? Was that the reason you chose the Mets? The and I grew up around. I grew up around everybody. You know, like David Wright, Jose Reyes, Beltran, Perez. Like those are the guys. I mean, those are the guys I grew up around. So it's pretty good. How do we turn this thing around right now? The vibes are low, but we have a good team. How do we get this going? Yeah, you know, just patience. You know, and I, it's, it's crazy. We got like what 90 games left, 95 games left. But I think there's there's still room for improvement. And I'll take this this struggle now and then be fine in October. Last year we had success a lot early and struggled in October. So. If we flip it, I'll take it. See, and that's exactly how you have to think. See, this is a professional athlete telling you during a long season you're going to have the good and the bad. You'd rather go through the bad early so that you finish up strong. So last year they were blessed to go out and run away with it in the beginning, and the Braves called them towards the end. So maybe they can flip that switch and see if they can do the same thing to the Braves and even more to get all the way to the World Series. This guy's giving analysis. That's like we're, right. we're trying to do an interview. This guy's got a suit on. He thinks he can do it all. Uh, how are you feeling? How's the offseason? you relaxing? Yeah, offseason. This is good, relaxing. You know, it's my second game this year. Hope to come to a few more, but it's been good. Who on the team is Lindor? That's your guy, right? That's your guy. That's my guy. Um, Pete, obviously. Jeff. Um, you know, I say those two in particular. Vogelback's my dog. <laughs> we went in there. I, I chopped it up with him a little bit. He's cool. So, you know, I got a lot of guys. You know, that I'm, I'm pretty cool with. It's, it's pretty dope that Max Scherzer's on the team. Um, I met him a few years ago when he was uh, on the Nationals. He had no idea who the hell I was at the time. Um, I remind him of that every time I see yes. him play, so um, it's pretty dope to see that. that All-time favorite Mets memory? I got to say sweeping the Cubs to make it to the uh, to World Series. Um, I, was, I was at school. I couldn't go to that World Series. Um, obviously, we lost, but I think sweeping the Cubs. And each hour's his catch is still a photo I have in my crib um, on the wall. Mike Piazza's home run on 9-11 um, always stand out. I would say probably those are probably my, my favorites. Yeah, you know, one of the great things about you is you don't just talk a good game. He actually has a ton of memorabilia, and he's always at a charity event looking to acquire more memorabilia. He's usually the highest bidder. You know those silent auctions? When you see just a D and an M, that's who's bidding it up on you guys. Every chance I get. What's, what, do you have, like, a favorite piece of memorabilia? I have a Gary Carter uh, signed photo, but he wrote it to me. He wrote me about a paragraph long. It's like a message about because he was with my dad obviously growing up um, and you know for me to have that I think that one's near and dear to me for sure. He's using NBA money. I was using bar mitzvah for money <laughs> to get the 1969 Mets signed my the big picture I have so that's my most prized possession.